Okay, so it's Saturday, August 10th, 2024. And a few of my friends around me ended up with COVID. I did not because I tested twice. Um, which I have to be careful because I start filming on Monday and I need this gig. So um, I'm keeping a low profile. I have masks on me, but I'm going to go see a movie right now because I was like, let me just get out of the house um, and take care of a few things. But I have a mask. I... I don't mind wearing a mask. It doesn't bother me. I'm not one of those people that complain about masks. I got used to wearing them here in LA. Um, if it means I, I can be safe, it's just a small thing to say. I don't know why. I, I will actually personally never understand why people had issues with the masks. But if it keeps me safe, especially because I need work, then it's worth it to me. Um, but it was weird because people would complain about like not being able to work because they didn't have a mask. But then they just wouldn't put a mask on. Like... There was an easy solution, but they decided to just complain about it rather than do something about it. I always thought that was really weird. Uh, but that's just me, you know. But he's also the same people that will sit there and complain that they don't... You can't tell them what to do with their body, but then they want to tell us what to do with our bodies, especially with women. So, you know, I guess you got to consider the source. Anyways, I have masks. I'm going to go see a movie. I decided to go see Twisters uh, because it came out... I do need to go see Deadpool, but Twisters came out first. Um... I'm not the biggest Marvel fan, so uh, which is weird because I think the movies are good. But uh, I will go see Deadpool, but I want to see Twisters first. I mean, hello, Glenn Powell. So I'm going to go do that. Um, yeah. So I'm all set. I'm all set. We got our call sheet. First thing, first thing Monday morning, 730. I got to be on set. So I'm just going to see a movie. Keep it quiet. Stay away from people. Wear a mask. That's great. So I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Um... It's a bit warmish today. It's in the low 90s. So it does feel like some kind of way. But I'm going to go to the movie theater anyway, so it won't matter. So Okay, I'm here. Hold on, I just want to check my car real quick. I'm here at the theater. Ooh, it's hot today. But I hardly have a sweater because it's always cold in the theater. Which I'm fine. I mean, you know, I don't want to sit there and freeze for a two-hour movie. Because this movie is like two hours. So... We're also next to a yard house. And I don't know, I might go get a drink later. They have a good salad there. We'll see how I feel after. Okay, so I just finished Twisters. Um, actually, I have to say that it was a really good movie. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was really good. Um, and it didn't feel long. It was a little over two hours. Um, Anthony Ramos did really good, but you know, he's extremely talented and very good looking. <laughs> Glenn Powell was great. Um, sorry, I'm taking my sweater off because it's hot out here. Anyways, um, the whole time I was watching the movie, I just kept telling myself, I really, I really want to direct. And I know I talk a lot about them on this channel, but like, I've always wanted to write and I've always wanted to direct and it's, this is dreams of mine I've had since I was a kid. Um, and I'm just frustrated because, you know, I've been at it for so long. It just feels like it's never gonna happen. Um, so I get very frustrated about that. I don't know. I want it to happen. I wanna make movies. I make movies, but I wanna make my own. I really wanna work direct. Anyways, it was a good movie. Um, I do want to give a big shout out. I, I think Bill Paxton would have been proud. I know he's in the first one. Um, they actually gave the son of James Paxton a role in this movie. He was the young kid in, um, if you see the movie, he's the young kid in the in the motel that's arguing with the guy. Um, and then he gets in the car with the girl and it gets, anyways. That's James Paxton. Uh, that's Bill Paxton's son, James. Uh, I did a movie with him a couple years ago. Great kid. Um, so I, I'll, have to, I'll have to text him and tell him he did a great job. I love that, that he got to be in the movie um, that his father was known for. So, uh, oh, we miss you, Bill. James, you did a great job. I can't wait to tell you. Um, and hopefully one day I'll get to direct you in a movie. How great would that be? So I'm here in, in a yard house and I have a beer. And I was sitting here and the other night when I was at the theater, I ran into my friend Adam, and his cousin lives out here, 
and apparently there's a waiter at this bar, Yard House, because he just walked past me and started talking. So I see Adam this week, who I hadn't seen in several months, and I saw Anthony now, who I hadn't seen in like five years. That's not true, four years, because I saw him during the pandemic. So uh, very, very interesting week of just randomly running into people. So uh, he's out and about right now, but yeah, just so random to run into him. Also, Anthony is really, really hot, and he's even hotter than the last time I saw him. Lord, why you keep doing this with me? Just like that, I'm done. I gotta stop by Target and got a couple of things. But Hi. 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 Anyways, I think the guy thinks I'm recording him. <laughs> but I'm recording me. Anyways, um, yeah, I forgot how hot Anthony was. He's a rapper too. I'll, I'll look up his rap name. I don't remember, but I know my friend Alex that I film with. Does a lot of his music videos. So I gotta look into that. Uh, yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting day. Everybody's out today. But it's definitely getting hot. So I'm in Target right now. And one of the things about adulting is you have to go buy socks. You have to buy socks. My socks have holes in them. So that's one of the fun things about adulting. Is getting things like socks at Target. Um, yeah. So. Yay, but at least I'll have them. You know, plenty of them, and they'll be nice and comfortable, especially when I start work, and then when I travel. I got batteries. I mean, I got batteries. I also got socks. Because, you know, I do that adulting life. Well, it's late. I just came out here and had a little snack. Um, but it is about 9.16 and I'm just gonna, I was gonna go, there was a, I needed to go to, a, there was a pool party slash screening of my friend's film, but I was a little nervous about being around a lot of people because um, I've been in, around a couple of people who tested positive for COVID. I went to the movies today, but I did wear my mask during the um, movie because people were sitting next to me and then when I went to the restaurant, I sat at the end of the bar and nobody was there. So, um, yeah, I was being very responsible. But tonight I'm just gonna keep it chill. Uh, my friend did want me to come over. I almost went, but it's, he texted me right at nine o'clock and he said, come over and hang out. And I was like, well, it's not, even though it's a Saturday, I was just like, um, I still don't wanna get any, I don't, I mean, I personally haven't tested positive yet and I don't think I will, but I just am trying to be safe. So I'll probably hang out with them tomorrow. So, but I hope everybody has a good night. Talk to you later.